Hi guys. I thought I'd try printing him upside down. See if it used less support layers. And it did. But I can see there's been a bit of a problem with the little car that he carries. Are we in focus? No, we're not. There we are. One of its wheels is missing. Other than that, it's printed okay. So that was interesting. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, I can see what's happened. This support layer has obviously drifted a little bit. So it wasn't in the right place to form the wheel. Because I actually cut right back on the amount of support layer. So obviously went just a bit too far. wait for it to cool down now. It's cooling down fairly rapidly. 3 hours 26 minutes 57 seconds. Just realise you can see it clearer if I come around that side. It's actually out of line. Right. I seriously hadn't intended to do another video but I wanted to see if printing him upside down um, reduced the amount of support layers and it did. Uh, it made it, made it print quicker because it didn't have to print so much support. The only thing is that support column just there went out of alignment slightly. I've probably already said that in the video introduction. But from the for the purpose of what I want it for, that's not going to matter. I should be able to get this off. Again, I think I should probably do that off off screen just in case it all breaks. His neck will always be a weak point. His arms, that part of the arm shouldn't be too bad because the layers are going qu quite a long way along them. But his um, walking stick is going to be weak because the layers go straight across that. So there's quite a small area there. Anyway, I'll strip him down and then we'll try him back in that one. But I'll push him in as far as I can like I did with that and see if that helps it. I'll tidy it up first. Well the good news is that came off quite nicely. So if I can get it to fit in there because it is printed exactly the same dimensions which always means the holes are slightly smaller than the thing you're trying to put into them. That's just the way that 3D printing works. There we go. Right, if I push him right down in this time, like I did with that one. Yeah, he's actually better. Because making the flatter um, ball, which I thought would improve things, didn't. Because it actually made the point of no return lower down. Whereas with this one, the point of lower, no return is up much higher. Um, what can I use to point? Right. What I'm talking about is where, where the curve goes right the way round. That point there compared to that point there, so about almost a centimetre higher up there, 10 millimetres. So there's no dead point.
You will notice I've changed filament. I've used up all my red, so I'm into the green now. Okay, well, I'll put him on the floor so I can spin him round like I've done with the others. That one's got no dead point either. So just to explain dead points again, or that's what I'm calling them, this one, if you lay him down like that, he doesn't spring back up again. I've only got to move him a tiny bit. <laughs> he says. There you go. And he springs back up again, but he does have a point where he stays laying down. Whereas this one... There is no dead point. And that one, because he's much lighter on top, he's quite all right. So that's the one that was made with the bulb from a LED light bulb and filled with resin. And these obviously are 3D printed. spin that was the one that sparked all this I had a suggestion by somebody when I'd done a tear down on a light bulb that I can make a wobbling grandad on it so that's the inspiration This one works fine, but if we hold him still, we can make him lay down. Just have them over there so we can see them. And then this one. No dead point at all. So we can break dance and return to where he started. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.